Hi, it's Sean here. Welcome to part 9 of my playthrough. And we are about to go on an expedition to the Stargazer's Tower. Stargazer's Tower is past the forest up to the fork on Ursula Road to the south. I'll be waiting here whenever you're done looking into those books. So the districts we've explored so far are Oh cool, we can actually see the whole city from this. I didn't know that you could drag the map. So we've explored Station Street, Central Square, Administrative District. I want to go to Orcus Tower before we go to Stargazer's Tower. Let's go to this tower. There's never been a conference like this before. Putting it that way just makes me even more nervous though. We've got to be on our toes the next couple of days. I think I've spoken to these guys. The unveiling ceremony is set for tomorrow. It took five long years of construction. But the new city hall building is finally complete. Everyone around the tower is going to be busy preparing for tomorrow. We don't have any business to attend to there, so let's not get in their way. Okay, fair enough. Then I guess I'll very briefly explore you know, the harbour district. That makes sense. I wonder what's in there. It has a little entrance icon, which means that maybe we'll be able to explore it. Let's catch Bishop before he runs off. A lot of officers on patrol day, huh? Better make sure I don't bump into any of them by accident. Ah, he ran away. Only one more day until the trade conference officially opens. Our office has been so hectic preparing for it. You could cut through the tension with a knife. Same thing. Oh, this is the same dialogue. Nielsen. Nice to finally meet you, Nielsen. The feeling is mutual. I've been quite looking forward to this. The editor-in-chief has told me a few things about you, in fact. Namely, what a bold and outgoing reporter you've become over these past three years. Or quit it. You're making me blush. I'm not really anything special yet. I just like what I do, so I do what I like, that's all. Haha, <laughs> so you say. But taking pride in your work is what matters most in journalism. It feels like Grace is acting a little differently than she normally does. I was thinking the same. I wonder who the man she's speaking to is. Haha, <laughs> so you've already done your research on them. I had a feeling that'd be the case. I give you my word. One bite alone will have your taste buds melting. Oh hey, these are from that place in the Republic that everyone's talking about, right? Cicado? I've always wanted to try this stuff. Don't mind if I do. Cicado. I'll try and remember that, and I'll see if they bring it up in Corona Kisaki. Heh, <laughs> for all the effort Hayu went to. The one who ended up landing the old Ravach compound was Crimson and Co. As said, we don't have a clue what those guys are about, let alone how deep their connections run. There's no telling what's going to happen with them in the neighbourhood. All we can do is wait and see. By 24 hours from the start of the trade conference, something just doesn't smell right. Ah oh, well, not like thinking myself Ragged is going to fix that. Anyway, I'd better get my articles on the conference wrapped up. It's interesting that he thinks something's not right. Oh, I've already read that. When will Bishop come? There he is. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Alright. I'm on standby here so I can rush in with my patrol car if anything happens. 
Sure, it doesn't measure up to the CGF's armored cars, but it's still tough and the glass is bulletproof. It can even be used as cover if it comes down to it. I'm gonna stand by here so that I can rush in with my patrol car if anything happens. Okay, it's the same. My noodles to go down smooth, so no need to mind your P's and Q's. Go on and slurp as much as you like. I don't know what P's and Q's are. That's the best way to savor their flavor, I always say. There's no peas or cues in noodles, so feel free to slurp as much as you like. That's the best way to savor their flavor, I always say. Investigating Hayu's actions is outside the Metro Division's jurisdiction, but we still try to keep an eye out. I doubt they'd be brazen enough to cause trouble in broad daylight though. Yeah, I don't think Hayu ever does that, to be honest. The trade conference begins tomorrow. I've only ever seen the, those famous world leaders in magazines. I wonder if they'll have a different air about them in person. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure chest. That's weird. I wonder how you get there. I never noticed that. Hang on a sec. Maybe we can... No? Oh, I bet it's through the geo front or something. Checking on these guys. Oh! A sign is hung on the locked door. Hey, you trading LTD, Crossbell Branch. If you have any business with us, please not. Hey, you trading. Man who runs this branch is named Chow, right? That's him, Chow Lee, otherwise known as Hey, you's sharp and capable white orchard dragon. Do we feel like paying him a visit? Well, even if we did, there's no guarantee they'll let us inside. Probably not. But I wouldn't mind picking his brain about what happened to the old Ravach building. Yeah. Hey, you definitely had their sights set on it. But in the end, Crimson and Co. bought the deed out from under them. I wonder how they feel about that. A oh, while I admit, it was rather regrettable. <laughs> Here he comes. Where's the music? Come on. Ch Ciao. Salutations, ladies and gentlemen of the special support section. Your time is in, your timing is impeccable, actually. It just so happens that there's a small favor I'd like to ask of you. What? A favor from us? Why don't you step inside so I can appraise you, apprise you on the finer details? Though of course, I won't force you if you're otherwise preoccupied. Wait, can't you just? Our apologies, but this request for your assistance is genuine. I ask that you listen to what Master Chow has to say, if you have the time. Enter at your own convenience, we will leave the door unlocked for you. <laughs> Bit of a patronizing bunch, aren't they? I'm not sure you're one to talk. So what should we do? It doesn't seem to be a trap. Maybe we should play along. Might learn something useful from these chumps. Yeah, maybe. Got our hands full too, so there's no need to do this if we don't want to. I mean, yeah, I'm happy to do it. I don't know if it's because of that trade conference, but the streets are a real eyesore with all these police officers Hogging them up. Ah, darn it. Misa told me to quit my complaining. Better knock it off before she gets back. 
Amisa says complaining is bad for my health. Whether she's right or not, I wouldn't want to make her sad. So I'll try not to run my mouth too much. He's finally having a change of heart. This would be my go-to spot all year. Hopefully fish don't harbour grudges. <laughs> the cheesiest stroke I've ever heard. once more. Do these top two last, and we'll see what Chow wants. The door is sealed shut. It's also sealed shut. Excellent, you're all here. It is my sincerest pleasure to welcome you to the Crossfell branch of Heyu Trading LTD. Hope we aren't interrupting. Thank you for inviting us in. And salutations to you as well, Mr. Orlando. I've been rather looking forward to your return especially. Yeah, howdy doody. I see you haven't changed a bit. Haha, <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. But my, who would have guessed that you had ties to the back alley's newest tenants? Crimson and Co. It's left me absolutely stunned. Whatever. I take it you have a fair amount of intel on them then. As a matter of fact, I do. Our two factions aren't without our, shall we say, connections. Though perhaps Mr. Orlando could tell you a few things about that. All I know is that someone last year... Oh, sorry. All I know is that sometime last year, my uncle and his crew picked a fight with you Hayu guys over in the Eastern District. Sounded like a real bloodbath, too. Now that you mention it, Dudley did say something about that. To sum it up, we've had our fair share of romps and rabble rousing with them in the past. Fortunately, we've since reached an agreement, so there's no bad blood to speak of. Though to this day, some Heyu elders do still curse the names of the Red Constellation's members. No bad blood, huh? Sounds like both sides have quite a history together. As far as the old Ravach compound is concerned, it truly really is a pity to lose it, but what's done is done. You don't expect them to be direct business competitors in Crossfell the way the Mafia was. So you can rest assured that we're not looking to start a fight. Thanks for being so considerate. Not that I entirely believe him. I don't mean for changing the subject, but what exactly is this favour you wanted to ask? We assumed it had something to do with Crimson and Co. Oh yes, that. Chow, what is taking so long? I don't have all the time in the world. Here he comes, I remember this guy. Why, if it isn't Master Zin. Is there something troubling you? Of course there is, you've been keeping me waiting for ages now. When is this guide you promised coming to pick me up? I told you I would be more than happy to show you up. And I told you that you're no good. Don't make me repeat myself. I didn't come all the way to Crossbow to be ferried around the place by one of our own men. But of course, 
That is why we took the liberty of making alternative arrangements for you today. These fine youths will be your guides. Them? <laughs> oh, great. So, uh, babysitting a member of Hayu now. Cool. I was not expecting that. Wait a minute here, Chow. Is this a favor you wanted to ask? Allow me to formally introduce you. This is Master Zin, the grandson of one of Hayu's elders. We would like you to take him on a tour of Crossbell City. I was afraid you'd say that. You're putting in a support request for us to babysit this little squirt? How unorthodox. These are the guys you spoke of? They seem a bit young, don't they? Why did you not send for someone like Ilya Plateau or Dieter Kreuz? I fear you overestimate how much pull I actually have. That being said, the people standing before you are crossbell and celebrities in their own right. These are the ladies and gentlemen who solved that incident in the spring. Are they now? That would make you the special support section then, wouldn't it? The same ones who crushed the cult? Wait, you've heard about that? But how? Master Zin is the grandson of an elder. It is only natural that he be well informed about current events around the continent. He spent much time studying Crossbell and Depp before making his visit. Of course I did. You heard who my grandfather is. The future of Hayu will be on my shoulders someday. I have to be a cut above commoners such as yourselves, mentally speaking. Ran's got a real mouth on him. Take it easy, Randy, he's just a kid. Very well, if you insist, then I'll accept this proposal. I can take this opportunity to ask more about the cult ins. Huh? Huh? I is something wrong? Th this is. Love at first sight! What? Excuse me? Those alluring eyes, luscious purple, uh, pearl grey hair, and those beautiful, bountiful proportions. Whoa, this kid. Who are these elders here <laughs> who take care of him? I, I never thought I'd meet the woman of my dreams here, of all places. You there, what's your name? M me? It's Ellie. Ellie McDowell. <laughs> It's nice to meet you, Zin. Ellie, your name is lovely. Now I understand. This is why destiny brought me to Crossbell. To meet you. But what is he talking about? Great. As if being a cheeky brat wasn't enough, now he's going to try and play grown-up too. Haha. <laughs> I think Ellie has a new biggest fan. She's acceptable, child. <laughs> oh man, this is terrible. I would like this lovely lady to guide me around the city at once. I'm glad to hear it. Well, off you go everyone. Do be sure to take good care of Master Zin. Hold on just a second. Should the SSS really be playing to a cop? Or the grandson of a crime syndicate elder? <laughs> I'm curious, what if he's like, maybe later. But you know, I'll just say sure why not. Alright, we'll accept. So are there any particular places in the city we should go to? I think Master Zin has a few places in mind. He'll let you know. Do be careful in your tour, Master Zin. You enjoy yourself now. Oh, I will. Let's be off, my dearest Ellie. Wait, Zin. Uh, you weren't thinking of going off with Ellie by yourself, were you? And what's the matter with... <laughs> <laughs> there are far too many of you to travel comfortably. And besides, free as a crowd. I get that, but... I doubt anyone would try to target a child, even if he's connected to Hayu. Still, is it really a good idea to leave them alone? Ahem. Zin, the trade conference is approaching fast. Crossbell is on high alert right now, meaning that anything could happen. For the sake of your safety, wouldn't it be smarter to travel with more protection? Hmm, you may have a point. Very well. Two of you, 
may come with as bodyguards, but no more. As for the others, let me see. They can watch us from a safe distance away. How does that sound? Well... Honestly, it's not too shabby of an idea. It's actually standard practice when it comes to protecting high-profile individuals. Then it's decided. Well, you should be meat shield number one, Lloyd. <laughs> wow, that's a nice way of putting it. Which of us three do you want to bring along? Let me think. Oh, choices, choices. Um... Like, Randy would be a logical choice, but he was also back up for the Ark and Seal uh, incident where Ernest attacks uh, the... what's his name? Chief McDowell. Um... Mayor McDowell, sorry, not Chief. Yeah, so Randy was back up for that. Maybe Wazy, I don't know much about Wazy, or even Noel. But you know what? Oh, I think I'll pick... This is taking me way too long to decide. Do Wazy, just to make it a little different. Do you mind tagging along with us, Wazy? I suppose I wouldn't. I don't mind being your plus one for a little double date tour <laughs> around the city. Noel and Randy, you two keep an eye out on us for, from a distance and observe our surroundings. I hear you loud and clear. Roger that. Is this arrangement to your liking, Masters Inn? I have no objections. And drop the master. You get enough of that from Hayu's members already. Haha, <laughs> sure. You got it, Zin. Good, now let's get going. I'll specify where I'd like you to take me once we're outside. Quest, Zin in the city started. Can we enter here? No. Oh, presents. But then, I don't know if that presents or not. How fortunate it is that you graced our doorstep just as I became in need of aid. Do be sure to take good care of Master Zin for us, hmm? Chow's just awesome. <laughs> it's honestly one of my favourite characters, even though he's a... He's, he's a criminal. I wish you safe travels, Master Zin. Goodness me, okay. Babysitting time activated. <clears throat> Let me begin by laying out the details of the tour. I prefer not to repeat myself, so pay attention. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is one of those remembering quests. But whoops, didn't mean to smash my bottle against the table. Yeah, sure. Cricket sounds. Damn, Brass just trying to act like a big shot in front of Madame Y still. True, but he's sort of pulling it off. That lovesick fool really has it bad for her, doesn't he? Excuse me? Did you have something you'd like to add? No, it's nothing. We're ready to hear your explanation. Very well. Then I'll get straight to the point. As we discussed inside, you will function as my tour guides around the city. However, trying to navigate this place without a goal would only exhaust us. Therefore, I have decided on our eventual endpoint in advance. And where would that be? The roof of Time's department store in the central square. Simply ensure that you take me there last. After that, you will be relieved of your duties. Got it, that's easy enough to remember. So, other than that, are we free to choose where we go along the way? 
No, I'm not about to let you parade me through the duller parts of town. Instead, I ask you to bring me to Central Square via East Street. Okay, Central Square via East Street. So go to East Street, then Central Square. Is it me, or do you already have most of this mapped out? Haha, <laughs> please. This is a special trip for me. It's only obvious that I would make preparations beforehand. That said, I don't have any plans beyond what I've already told you. I'd be grateful if you could take us on a few enjoyable detours so that I may spend some quality time with Ellie. Now, now, Zin, don't forget that I'm one of your guides as well. Nonsense, out of the question. You're my guest now, Ellie, which means your only task is to relax and enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh boy, maybe lovesick was a bit of an understatement. That aside, I think I get the gist of things now. But you know, what you're asking us for really isn't all that different from a casual stroll through the city. Are you sure you're okay with that, Zin? Yeah, I mean, aren't there any other options you want to check out? What about Arkham Seal or something like that? There's always Michelin Wonderland. But that's outside of city limits. I think they're closed right now anyway. Who do you take me for? Of course I've already been to the most notable places in all of Crossbell. That were enjoyable enough, and I wouldn't mind returning in the future. But that isn't my goal for today. There's so much more I need to see of this place before I leave. I'd rather see Crossbell's true face as, as its citizens know it, rather than the same old tourist attractions. Crossbell's true face? You've put a lot of thought into this. Just imagine how pushy he's going to be once he grows up. A little... <laughs> Ahem. Do you understand now? Daylight's burning as we speak. So I'd like to get this tour started. Understood. Let's not waste any time then. Well, we're off. Be sure to watch our backs, you two. Roger. Keep your eyes peeled up there. So did we just talk to people? I'll just read this quickly. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Final destination is Times. So he wants to get there by East Street and soak in the sights on the way. Ellie, Zin, Wazy, and I will walk together while Randy and Noel shadow us from a distance. Let's begin the tour. Sniff, sniff. Mmm, what smells so good? Hey there, little guy. That's the sweet scent of my noodles waf uh, wafting into your nostrils. Is that so? Impressive for a second-rate food vendor. D did you just call my noodles second-rate? Scram! I won't serve a single strand to chuckleheads who can't appreciate true flavor. What is this man's problem? Did I say something wrong, Ellie? Oh, Zin. You might be a smart kid in some respects, but you're awfully naive if you think you can get away with a comment like that. How dare anyone call my noodles second rate? Scram, I won't serve a single strand to chuckleheads who can't appreciate true flavour. Hmm, so this is where the Crosswell Times is pr produced. I did hear something about their main office being located in the Harbour District as well. Huh? Did you say something? Nothing of importance. If I'm being honest, I don't particularly care for journalists, especially those that snoop around our business. However, I will acknowledge that they have a respectable finance section. It's rather popular among Republican tycoons. What do you even say to that? He continues to be remarkably worldly for a boy his age. Stop. 
Got him. Okay, no dialogue. The new service probably wouldn't allow us to tour their building now, would they? Let's keep moving. The RBC? It's a fine building, yes. No more, also less so than usual. Is this not your first time here, Zin? Well, of course not. Naturally, even Heyu has an account with the IBC. It just happens that I recently opened one myself for stock trading purposes. I'm hoping to receive some hefty dividends in the near future. Come to think of it, weren't you doing something like that a, a while? Oh, uh, sorry. Weren't you doing something like that while you were a student, Ellie? Well, yes, I did dabble in equities a bit, but only for future reference, really. So you're no stranger to shareholding either, Ellie. I never would have guessed. That reminds me, I recently came across an interesting investment opportunity. Not many people have taken notice of it yet, and its prospects are quite promising. But of course, there are always other options in the market that I could recommend if you like. Other options? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that. I feel like a fourth wheel. <laughs> Gah! My apologies, Ellie. Forget I said any of that. I simply got carried away after learning the two of us shared something in common. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. I just wasn't expecting it, that's all. Oh, Ellie. You truly are a goddess. This guy needs help if he's calling her a goddess. In any case, the IBC is hardly anything special to me, so there's no need for us to head inside. Let's move on to the next location. Sh sure thing. There's just one more day until the trade conference finally begins. That means higher alert level citywide. Security personnel like myself are going to be at the top of our game. As I said, there's nothing special to me about the IBC. Now let's head to the next location already. Sh sure thing. Wonder if I show him... Would he like the lighthouse? No, probably not. So he wants to go. He probably wouldn't want to go to the downtown district. I don't know, you see. Well, we could go this way then, potentially. Is this the way to East Street? Well, no. That's what I thought. I believe I was clear about what route we were taking, or do you just not know your directions? I do. Sorry about that. A rude little brat.
So this is East Street. This is the first real chance I've had to take it all in. You must feel quite at home here. Does it remind you of Calvert? In a sense, I suppose, but unfortunately this is nowhere near as lively as the Eastern Quarter. Speaking of, I'd love the opportunity to show you around the Republic someday, my darling Ellie. By which I mean, you're more than welcome to come home with me. Um... Well, that's, uh, quite the offer. Straight to the point. You've got to respect the hustle. And she gave no response. Ah, oh, I've had another of oh, this job hunt. Why don't you try asking one of the stores at the Sweet Boy? D don't be stupid. I don't have what it takes to work out in the open where everyone can see me. I want something cushier. Something where I'm not outside all day. Man, street stalls really aren't my thing. Just thinking about standing on my feet all day makes me want to drop. I've already gone for about everything else I can think of though. You don't play with me at all anymore, boy. Hurry up and find a job so we can have fun again. Ah, if only life were that easy. I'll help Roy find a job, and once he gets one, we can play together again. I've been seeing police officers on patrol left and right today. It's like the city just can't sit still. And what is this? An apartment complex? Is there supposed to be something worth seeing inside? Well, not particularly, no. Then why bother dragging me here? Surely you have better places to show me. I'm not so crude as to barge into a stranger's dwelling without reason. Come now, let's keep it moving. Heads of state from all over Western Zemuria will be arriving in Crossbell tomorrow morning. Now that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. He is hoping I'm lucky enough to see some of them in person. The trick to scrimping is doing your research, otherwise you'll miss out on all kinds of limited time sales. I think I can save some extra Myra by shopping at the stalls around this time of day. If I want to have Myra left over for my allowance, then I've got to save, save, save. These sales won't last forever. I can't afford to let a single bargain go by. Hey there little guy, you want a pinwheel? See, it spins when you blow on it, pretty fun eh? Are you talking to me? Hmph, those are a mirror a dozen in the east. Only a toddler would find one entertaining. What? Man, I think that's the first time I've ever seen a kid, a kid turn his nose up at my pinwheels. Don't worry about him, Kronk. This guy's a special case. Din studied vegetables as much as he could before becoming a stall owner. But he doesn't know the first thing about managing a business, so he basically gets by on his personality alone. I guess that's just what makes Din's Din's. Dins runs an honest business, but he doesn't have the slightest clue how to manage it. I guess that's just what makes him the guy he is though. I heard this neat tidbit from a doctor working at St. Ursula. Supposedly your body absorbs less fats when you eat certain vegetables. In other words, having veggies with meat can help you stay trim without cutting back. You guys getting your daily servings of veggies in? Eating nothing but junk food will poison your bodies, you know. Vegetables are an essential part of a balanced lifestyle, and that's a fact. I was gonna buy something, but then I have to exchange Sabbath for Mara at the IBC, and then I remembered I've got this little brat with me, so I can't do that yet. I've stopped doing the chores over at my house, whole turkey. Life is much more pleasant now. I just love lazing around all day. My husband and boys can start taking care of themselves, I say. The men of my household hardly know what I do, what to do now, that I'm not waiting on them hand and foot. Serves them right. Still, I always find myself coming back to these stalls when I go out, as if I'm still shopping for them. Ah, oh, must be force of habit.
So that building up the stairs now belongs to the Imperial Fishing Club, was it? I assume that wouldn't be that much different from the Fisherman's Guild. But so far they haven't even bothered to drop by and say hello. Rather suspicious if you ask me. That Imperial Fishing Club is a little suspicious if you ask me. Still, they're angling enthusiasts like any other. They can't be all that bad, right? Ah, good day, SSS. As you can see, I'm currently patrolling the marketplace. Keep up the good work, everyone. Our fellow cross felons depend on it. Is he going to fall in love with Shan Shan? Long Lao. So they even have Eastern style eateries on East Street, do they? Would you like to stop here for a break? Fine idea. I was just starting to get hungry, in fact. I'd like to see exactly what kind of food is served here. So, was Long Lao to your liking? I'm dying to hear your opinion, seeing as you've had authentic Eastern cooking. What? What is the meaning of this? Dishes like this at these prices? Is the owner out of his mind? L lower your voice, Sin, if they hear you complaining. Wait, let him finish. For example, this Mapo tofu is better than anything I've had from the three star restaurants in the Eastern Quarter. Something this exquisite should be thrice as expensive, so why isn't it? Huh, so that's what got you all riled up. Uh, I don't believe this. How long has a restaurant of this quality been hiding in Crossbell? Haha, <laughs> well either way I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I hear they'll be restricting traffic on East Crossbell Highway all the way to Tungram Gate tomorrow. The Calvert President will be passing through on his way to the conference, so they've got to keep the road secure. It won't be for the entire day, but this still throws a bit of a wrench in my work schedule. They're restricting traffic on East Crossbell Highway all the way to Tangram Gate tomorrow. It's the same. How many times must I tell you, dear? You shouldn't talk with your mouth full. Have some manners for once. Crunch munch. Crossbell's economy is as booming as I say. Probably how he's saying it. The whole city is abuzz over the big trade conference. Oh, you're that cutie from before. Come again, okay? We'll be waiting for you. Okay. This restaurant feels as authentic as any of the ones in the Eastern Quarter. I wonder if Niall and Dorothy are over there having an Eastern lunch of their own right now. Hang on. She's a reporter. Noticia. Oh, Niall and Dorothy. I remember them. Yeah, the two funny reporters from Trails in the Sky. Roos has a habit of overthinking things. What use is there in worrying? We'll make it big for sure as long as we keep working hard. Master has a penchant for Eastern martial arts. He said he used to drive out all the roof, all the ruffians himself when he worked in the Eastern Quarter. In other words, that death glare he uses whenever guys gawk at Shunshine isn't just for show. Master has a fondness for Eastern martial arts. I want to get on his bad side knowing that. He'll make you regret it for sure. I heard you shouting about my food, little one. Well, how was it? D don't call me little. Yes, the meal itself was delicious. It was far too cheaply priced for the quality. You should consider raising... You have quite the business to acumen for someone so young. But consider the following. Long Lao's food is for our customers, not profit. I have no intention of driving away the common man. It is for this. It is for that reason that I will never change my prices. Uh, oh. My apologies for not considering that. He fell into line pretty fast there. You may be young, little one, but I can tell you are wise. Huck and Roost could learn a thing or ten from you. Wow. Poor Puck and Roost. Feel sorry for them. Oh, 
Buck is starting to look like he's enjoying his job here a little too much. I bet he's totally forgotten about our plan to open a shop together in the future. The only reason we started working here was to build up some cash for our own business. But with how much Puck's been enjoying this job, it's like he's forgotten all about that. Oh, I didn't check everything back there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just what is this place? It's so dreary. This is the downtown district. Sadly, it was left behind during the city's redevelopment years ago. Is that so? Hmm, I suppose every nation has these sorts of places. I've seen enough. Bring me back to East Street post haste. Yeah, okay. I've no interest in that place. Let's go elsewhere. Hey, doesn't this lead outside the city? Yeah, you're right. Let's turn back. A Jizo, hmm? It looks exactly like the kind we have in the Eastern Quarter. I bet they're a lot more common there. There are many types, each said to come with their own type of blessing. Some are meant to provide protection while others heal illnesses. Not that I would ever entertain such childish make-believe. Uh-huh. I don't know how to pronounce it, if it's Jizo or Jizo. And what is this place? This home belongs to the chairman of the Crossbell Business Owners Association. He is a good friend of ours, in fact. Is he now? I suppose even Chow and the others would pay their respects to a man in his position. It may be wise for me to greet him. Why, what do we have here? I see you've brought yet another adorable child with you today. Please excuse our unannounced intrusion, ma'am. Well, aren't you well-mannered? Don't you worry about that one bit. Would you care for some tea? That's quite alright. I wouldn't want to overstay my welcome. His social etiquette is excellent. I don't even know how to respond. He knows how to play the part. <laughs> Would that every boy your age was this polite. Our Roy could st really stand to learn a thing from your example. To learn from your example. Well, if isn't Lloyd in the SSS. I don't believe I recognize the boy in the Eastern attire here. And here I thought I knew everyone from East Street. You're the chairman of the Business Owners Association, correct? I am Zin, the man burdened with carrying the future of Heyu upon his shoulders. Heyu, you say? They're that trading company from the Eastern Quarter that recently expanded into Crossbelt. Judging by your words, could it be that you're related to their Council of Elders? Indeed I am. My grandfather is one of them. Do you know the elders? Mr. Moores? Oh no, not personally. I merely engage in a few small exchanges with them back in my merchant days. But it makes sense that you're so sharp, considering you're an elder's grandson. Might I ask what your business is with Lloyd and his team? Well, one thing led to another. These citizens were dying to show me the sights of their beloved crossbell. That being the case, who was I to deny them their simple wish? <laughs> ah, this kid is pure ego. Haha, <laughs> it sounds like there's more to that. But the important thing is, you all seem to be getting along well. Zin, was it? It would please me greatly if you were to take... A liking to Crossbow, young man. I'm not ashamed to admit that I've been mildly enjoying it. Now if you'll excuse us. I can't say I ever expected the grandson of a Heyu elder to pay me a visit. It would please me greatly if he were to take an interest in our fair city. And what's this, some sort of bait shop? No, that's the Imperial Fishing Club. Well, either way, it's somewhere for fishing enthusiasts to gather, isn't it? 
that ilk exists in Crossbell too, I see. You mean there's clubs like this in Calvert as well? Yes, there are. Incidentally, my grandfather is also obsessed with fishing. I, for one, don't see what the, all the excitement is about. If you want to catch fish, just use a net. It's clearly the most effective method. Brave words for someone right in front of the lion's den. I have no interest in this gathering place for layabouts. Let's move on. Hey, we brought a criminal here. This is the crossbell branch of the Bracer Guild. Why are you hiding, Zin? Sh shut up, it's none of your business. My oh my, what are you doing with that cute little boy there? Don't just stand there blocking the entrance, come on over. Uh, okay. So who's a rascal? Is he lost? Should we help him track down his parents? N not quite. H hey you, receptionist, is a divine blade of wind here right now? Well, someone has a mouth on him. Sorry dump <laughs> dumpling, that's hilarious. Sorry, Dumpling, but Arios is out at the moment. Oh, oh, good. Good? What's with the relief? Hmm, your speech, behavior, and get-up point to one thing. I get it, you're connected with Heyu, the grandson of an elder, no less. How did you know- how do you know that? I didn't, silly. You're the one who just told me. <laughs> oh, man. Don't think that makes- but don't think that makes me a deceiver. Every reg of fabulosity you see in front of you is 100% genuine. Uh, understood. Why does he look and act like this? What a strange person. Are all people from the Bracer Guild this way? Well, aren't you a rude little scamp? I'm sure you'll make a fine member of the mighty Heyu. And to get worse with time at like that. Without a doubt. That aside, why the weariness around Arios? It's not like we hold a grudge against Heyu or anything. S so you say. Your people have meddled in the Elder's affairs on countless occasions. The Divine Blade of Wind and the Immovable have been nothing but problems for us. The Immovable? Ah, he means Zin the Immovable. An A-rank bracer from Coward, as well as a master of the Taito School of Martial Arts. We don't see him often anymore, but he's helped this branch many times in the past. If I remember correctly, isn't Lin also a Taito practitioner? She sure is. Zin's one of her predecessors in the school, so it goes without saying that he's he's incredibly strong. You'd have to make it as a bracer. You'd have to be to make it as a bracer. That may be, but the real issue with your guild is the code you stand by. Call out your guiding principles if you want. But that doesn't give you the right to do whatever you please in the name of civilian safety. By the same token though, our code balances itself out. There are some things even we can't touch due to our non-interference policy. Hold the phone little man, how do you know so much about that at your age? Seriously, I'm impressed in... Ha, huh. flattery will get you nowhere. Anyway, you braces are... Alright, I think that's enough griping about the guild. You're still just a kid after all. Speaking of kids, Kia and Shizuku are hanging out upstairs. You should go say hi to them. That's right, it almost slipped my mind that they were here. Why don't we go introduce Zin to them? What? Who are you talking about? Oh, by the by, I started playing that Pom Party Orble game the other day. You guys want to have a go at it? We can have ourselves a little... A friendly little match if you're free. Oh cool, yes. I'd love to play against him. Ah, so this little boy is a grandson of a hey elder. If he's already got a mouth like this now, I shudder to think of how he'll be when he's older. Well, only time will tell. <laughs>
Hi guys. Good morning everyone. Hey there Kia, looks like you two are having fun. It's been some time since we last met Shizuku. Haha, <laughs> yes it has. Are all of you working right now? I guess you could say that, yeah. Why are we speaking to these children? Do you know them? Huh? Who's that? He sounds like a little boy. Uh, who's little? I am Zin, the man slated to bear the burden of Heyu's future as an elder's grandson. I... I apologize. Wow, you're so... tiny, but you act as grown up as Lloyd in them. You're a lot more of a big shot than your size that's on, huh? S stop it. Stop calling me small. Not even the distinguished legacy of Heyu is a match for Kia. Oh, let me introduce you, Zin. These two are Kia and Shizuku. I think they're just a bit older than you. Did we mention that Shizuku is Arios' daughter? That's the Divine Blade of Winds. I, I bet you're a swordsman too, aren't you? Your eyes have been closed this entire time. You must be using that insight technique. Inside? How do you know about insight? <laughs> no, of course not. Actually, I'm, not, I'm unable to see. My hearing is better than most because of it, but I'm not nearly as amazing as my father. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. That was ungentlemanly of me. Please forgive me for my insolence. <laughs> it's alright. Wow. It seems he can be a good little boy when he wants to. Yeah. That was surprisingly nice. You're a very nice boy, Zin. I, I have no earthly idea what you could possibly mean by that. You're speaking to the man who shoulders a burden of Heyu's future. <laughs> I don't really understand your circumstances, but I still think you're a nice boy, Zin. Hmph. <laughs> she should think again. I'm not the good little child she insists I am. You said your name was Zin, right? You're not from around here, huh? How much longer are you going to be in Crossbell? Hmm? I'll be here for about two more days if you must know. Oh, does that mean you're going to check out the tower unveiling tomorrow? <coughs> We're planning to watch it from the roof of time, so you can join us if you want. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, why not? Ryu, Anri and the other kids are coming too. It'll be all sorts of fun. Y you don't say. Well, if you're going to be that persistent, I've no choice but to take you up on your offer. The unveiling is tomorrow at 11am, correct? Yep, we'll see you there. He looks pretty happy right now. Perhaps he doesn't have many opportunities to play with other children his age. Remember Zin, the roof of times at 11am tomorrow. We'll be waiting for you. Y yeah, sure. See you then. That'll be good. I can just imagine Chow acting as babysitter. Taking him there, saying, Okay now, be good to the other Zin. <laughs> this would be Central S Square, correct? It's about as busy as I would expect a thoroughfare to be. That's right, Times Department Store is only a stone's throw away from us too. Should we head there right now? I'll let the three of you figure that out. After all, as long as I get to stay by Ellie's side, I couldn't be happier. We heard you the 40th time. That's very sweet of you, Zin. Anyway, why don't we have a look around before ending our little tour? I've spoken to everyone. Alright, cool. Hey little buddy, take a look at these fun balloons. See, they float in the air all on their own. How would you like to have one? I wouldn't, as a matter of fact. It'd only get in my way. Okay, what colour would you- Wait, what did you say? It'd get in your way? Something telling me Zin hates being treated like a child. Sure, not every kid out there loves balloons, but I didn't expect to get rejected so coldly. It's got me feeling kinda... deflated. I love the play on words. Oh, 
Oh, hi Lloyd. Hi SSS. Hi kid, I don't know. <laughs> your kit, your clothes are so cool. They're Eastern style, right? Oh, I'm surprised you noticed their exceptional quality. You show promise. I hope you know this outfit was specially made to order. Made to order? Oh, so those clothes are for maids? No, you fool. That's not what I said. Haha. <laughs> this is actually kind of adorable. Made to order, huh? So wait, does that mean you're a girl? What part of no do you not understand? Since City Hall is... Uh, like this. So this is the Orbal store, hmm? I've often seen it covered in magazines and such. Between the decor and the merchandise, everything seems very state of the art. I'll admit, I don't think anything in Calvert equals this in terms of scale. Genton does carry a variety of products from nations all around. It's a testament to Prosper's status as a cultural melting, melting pot. Speaking of cutting edge, they also sell computers here that you can hook up to the Orbal network. Orbal network, you say? Yeah, basically it's a system that helped bring communication devices into the modern age. The Orbal Network project has been steadily growing, thanks to the work of the Ep Epstein Foundation. By accessing it through a terminal, you can transmit not only your voice, but text and pictures too. Whoa, Lloyd became a technology expert. Wow, technology's come so far. <clears throat> not that I'm surprised. What do you think you are anyway? What do you think you are anyway? A walking encyclopedia? Quit trying to show off. I wouldn't really say I was. Competitive little runt, isn't he? Photo quartz, photo quartz, wow. Well, spoken to him, I mean. Uh, yep. Is there anything I can assist you with? Uh, no. Hi, Lloyd. What's with the kid? He's a little cutie, isn't he? We're just babysitting, uh, looking after him. He wanted us to give him a tour of the city. Oh, yeah? So he's not from around these parts then? Hey there, little man. Is this your first time inside an Orbal store? Just take your time looking around. And you'll be sure to find something that steals your heart away. Right. My heart? Gotta say, giving tours of Crossbell sounds like a lot of fun. Haha, <laughs> never a dull moment at the SSS, is there? Certainly not. Would you like to go to Station Square? Hmm, is a department store over that way? Oh, uh, no, this way leads to Station Street. Then there you have it. Let's turn back quickly now. Sure, sorry about that. Even, uh, even, what's his face, is in cringed at that. Yeah, I doubt Zin would react to these guys. Oh, well, it was worth a try.
shopping arcade, hmm? This would be the entrance to Crosswell's back alley, correct? Right, you've heard of it, huh? We don't have any reason to go there right now, though. Hmm, so pass here's where Ravage once stood. Just like Chow and the others told me. We don't have any reason to go to the back alley. West Street is just up ahead. We probably shouldn't stray too far from the department store, though. Let's turn back. Where are we going, Lloyd? This way leads to the administrative district. Oh, you're right. Let's turn back. Isn't isn't that the department store right over there? Gironde Armory. This is a licensed weapon shop, correct? Why don't we have a look around inside then? Sorry, Zin. This place may be on the up and up, but it's still an armory, just like it says on the sign. There's no way we can take you into a place with so many dangerous weapons inside. Hmph, <laughs> I don't see the problem, as long as I don't touch them. It's called my interest, end of story. If I say we're going in, we're going in. Uh, I'll let you feel this one, Ellie. Leave it to me, Lloyd. Listen, Zin, you're one of the most important individuals we've ever had the pleasure of escorting. It's for that reason that we simply can't take any threats to your safety lightly. You're smart, Zin. I'm sure you can see our perspective here, can't you? Hmm, you make a compelling case. I'm glad you understand. I knew your wisdom would shine through in the end. Yes, you're right. I am wise. That's funny, because uh, he says he's wise, but Socrates, the famous philosopher, said the only truly wise person is the one who knows that he is not wise. <laughs> She has him wrapped around his her little thing her little finger. There's no sense heading into the armory while Zin is with us. What's with that giant dog? Zite, what's he doing out here? Maybe he just wanted a breath of fresh air. Is everything alright, Zin? Scared, are we? Seems it was Zart that finally managed to rattle your cage. W what are you talking about? N nothing scares me. You got that? Absolutely nothing. Ahem. <laughs> I've decided that this spot holds nothing of interest to me. Let's move on to the next. Sure thing. It may all just be bravado, but you have to admire his commitment. Hey, I said this spot doesn't interest me. Let's go back to the square. Sure thing. Yeah, at least I think that's what Socrates said. Socrates says something along those lines, but I'll have to check the quote. Second time. Well, here we are, Times Department Store. Anywhere else you'd like to take Zin first? I don't think we'll get another chance to show him around once we go in. The decision is yours, either way, try to be quick about it. Um, I've taken him everywhere, so. Hmm, I was thinking thought maybe there are a few other places we can take him. Let's hold off on entering for now. Let's check the map. There's nowhere else. I say we've chaperoned him enough for one field trip. Let's head inside. Good, I've been looking forward to this one. And let's not keep you waiting. There they are. Okay, the birds are in the coop. Or department store, rather. Is something wrong, Randy? Yeah. I kept feeling like we weren't the only ones tailing them back there. You did? 
Do you suppose it was someone from Heyu maybe? That'd be my first guess, but to be honest, I'm not too sure. Anyway, we should probably head inside too, before we lose them. Right, understood. Well, here we are. Why don't we check out a few of the shops before we head to the roof? Very well, lead the way. That's pretty exciting. Something's about to happen. Oh, Miss Ellie, I see you've brought an unusual guest with you today. Yes, we're giving this boy a tour. <coughs> Pardon me. We're giving this boy a tour of Crossbell. Is that so? Well, I am honored that you consider times worth visiting. Please stay as long as you'd like. That you would choose to visit us at Times Department Store is an honor and a privilege. Please stay as long as you'd like. I see this store deals in a variety of imported foodstuffs. Ah, they even carry soy sauce. Well, hello there, young man. Are you from out east by chance? We offer a wide selection of authentic ingredients that any Eastern is sure to approve of. If there's anything we don't have that you'd like to see on our shelves, just let me know and I'll put in a special order. Uh, okay, I'll think about it. So just let me know if you think of anything you might like to see on our shelves. If there's anything you don't have, I'd be happy to put in a special order. Okay. There's no time to take Zen back outside. Let's check out some shops and then head up to the roof. I'm glad I clicked on that. Are these the fabled Mishy plushies? What are they doing here? This isn't Michelin. Ah yes, this general store recently added a dedicated display area for Mishi merchandise. I take it you're a fan of his Zin? But bite your tongue, I'm not going to stand for you mocking me. How could the man fated to lead Heyu possibly be interested in these childish toys? Have you no common sense? Z Zin? You don't have to take it so personally. And I doubt Heyu has any bylaws stating that elders can't harbour an appreciation for Mishi. Hmph, <laughs> enough talk about this, let's... What's this? TikTok Mishi, available exclusively at times. Gah. Like I said, only an infant would have any interest in these... These... Playthings. I don't care for them one bit. Not in the least. He's not fooling anyone. He thinks a certain Heyu Elder's grandson doth protest too much. Or well, spoke to Southwalk with a whisper. Excuse me, how much for the TikTok Mishi? Oh, that'll be 500 Mara. Haha, <laughs> getting a present for the kid? Well, I'm considering it, yeah, it's only 500 Mara. Should I buy it for Zin? Sure. Alright, one TikTok mission, please. Of course. Thank you, and we hope to see you again. Hey, just what have you been whispering about over there? Well, funny you should ask. Here, this is for you. Lloyd handed the TikTok Mishi over to Zin. This is Store's Limited Edition. Oh, so that's what you were doing. What do I always say? He's got the biggest heart in all of Crossbell. I don't get it. Just what do you expect me to do with this? Whatever you want. It's a gift, Zin. You should take it. Think of it as a token to remember this day by. A token to remember it by? Well, you've already purchased it, and it'd be disrespectful to toss it in the garbage, so fine, I accept. But let me just make one thing clear. I have no interest in these silly little dolls. Got it? Y yeah, whatever you say. 
Sounds to me like he loved it. I had a feeling he would. Mishy's just great, isn't he? And now we're almost broke, but oh well. Already spoken to all these people. Oh hey, what's up guys? Helping a lost kid look for his parents or something? I beg your pardon. I am not lost. These three are taking me on a grand tour of Crossbell. Really? So what, like a field trip? I guess that qualifies as a support request. You guys have your work cut out for you, huh? You don't know the half of it. <laughs> anyway, security is out in full force for the first time today. Don't take too much time, don't take too much side work, you hear? Gotta keep that stamina up for the next couple of days. Perhaps you're searching for children's shoes today. We have Zemuria's finest selection. Please take your time browsing our many varied offerings. Nope. Okay. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be a fight. Well, well. The department store's rooftop has quite the view. It's breathtaking, isn't it? You can see the entire cityscape from up here. Indeed, it's managed to exceed my expectations. Oh yes, Orcus Tower. Is that it over there? It may still be covered up, but the way it shadow overshadows the rest of the city is astounding. Come on, Ellie, get up front. Right here, closer to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, try to be careful, you guys. I don't want anyone falling <laughs> over the rail. So, Zin, were you satisfied with the roof, with the view of from the roof? I can't read today. It was pleasantly adequate, yes. The rest of our CY tour wasn't too shabby either. I must admit, I think this little outing will be one to remember. Really now? Well, I'm glad you feel that way. I plan to return to Calvert in two days' time. After which, I'll once again be surrounded by those stuffy adults, forced to endure an endless torrent of studying. Such is the face of a man who will one day command those of others. Zin. Sounds rough. By the way, Zin, are you enrolled in Sunday school? Yes, as a means of broadening my horizons. Everyone fears the adults guarding me, though, so they don't dare approach. That's why it was so refreshing to meet Kia and Shizuka, was it? I rather enjoyed myself, speaking to children my age for a change. Haha, <laughs> it's a good thing we ran into them then. Pardon me, I'm not usually one to engage in useless small talk. At any rate, I've had enough touring for my liking. Escort me back to the office at once. Roger that. Okay, so we never found out who was following them. That's interesting. 
but maybe we will. Alright, let's read Chow's lines. It pleases me to know you enjoyed yourself. I'll admit it exceeded my expectations. It would seem there's more to Crossbell than just Ark and Seal in the theme park. Now I understand why a shrewd business businessman like yourself is so taken by it, Chow. You flatter me, Master Zinn. As for you, Detective Bannings, you, Miss McDowell, and the rest of the SSS, have my deepest gratitude. I never could have imagined that a simple tour would please Master Zinn so greatly. For that, I am in your debt. Don't mention it, Chow. We had a fun time as well. It may not be much, but at the very least, we would like to reward you for your efforts. I don't know if that's such a good idea. We're members of the CPD after all. Oh, I thought you might just say that. Which is why I refrain from having your remuneration prepared in Myra. Myra. I don't know if it's Mira or Myra. I think it's Myra. Consider this a token of your friendship with Master Zim, rather than Heyu. Wait, what? We, uh... How thoughtful of you, Chow. Don't be shy. Go on, take it. Someone's pushy. I don't think her no thanks is going to cut it, now that they've framed it like that. Probably not. Well, okay, as long as it's not Myra. We appreciate your generosity. Received Lunar Spirit Bead. I think we should be going now. We'll see you around, Zin. <laughs> Until next time. I'll be looking forward to it, Ellie. Be well. You must have tired yourself out walking around the city like that. Pastries have been prepared for you in your private quarters. Only the choicest delicacies, of course. Is that so? How very thoughtful. Very well. I'll let Grandfather know how well you've taken care of me. He's still young. But you noticed before they left, didn't you? That glimpse of his wisdom and talent? I greatly anticipate seeing how useful he will prove in the future. Right. Still, was that the safe decision to make? In the unlikely event they had chosen to target Master Zin, you would have been the one held responsible, Master Chow. Had that been the case, it simply would have been part of our shared destiny. However, they know, just as well as I do, that it's far too early for them to be making their move. Speaking of which, have we learned anything new on that front? Yes. We've caught wind of two individuals who are tailing Master Zin and the SSS. We currently have them under surveillance. Excellent. Allow them to proceed as they like, but take care to keep out of sight. And see to it our crimson neighbours don't interfere if you would. Of course. Quest is in the city completed. Well, for a side quest. That contributed a lot to the story, I will admit. I enjoyed that. That was fun. Let's check out that item Zen gave us. Uh, Prevent seal and mute. A jewel engraved with a moon. Has the power to break seals. Because Ellie is an arts user, I'll probably give her that. And Randy can have... Um... Prevent, Confuse, and Petrify. That's the same as Noel. But you know what, that's fine. <laughs> that guy got so annoyed at Zin.
No, I don't blame him though, Zin was pretty rude. Well, now we can finally enter. Maybe it's due to the upcoming trade conference, but I've noticed stock prices rising over the past several days. It's not a buyer's market right now, unfortunately for me. My wallet can't afford the options I was interested in. The current stock market trends make me wish I could buy some to sell down the road. Oh well, better to focus on my trading company rather than trading shares for now. The police and guardian force have heightened security ahead of the big trade conference. The IBC security department is committed to providing its full support and cooperation as well. We've already received a detailed briefing from the CPD security task force on how to proceed during the next few days. It's times like these that we need to join our efforts for the good of the state. The IBC security department will do everything it can to support the CBD and CGF both. Excuse me, you'll need an authorization card to use the elevator. If you have business upstairs, head over to the reception desk and check in there first. One moment please, click clack click clack. I'll look into the details of your contract right away sir. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Hmm, can I help you? I would hope you weren't thinking of cutting ahead of me. I'm terribly sorry but I'm going to have to ask that you wait your turn on that sofa over there. Oh, it's a bit bit of passive aggression going on there. The IBC is going to be hosting President Rocksmith of Calvert tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be a busy day for all of us in the security department. Don't tell anyone, but my anxiety is spiking already. That's a lot of responsibility on the security department. It's spiking my anxiety already. Ooh, we've got a lot of space sepith. Hello SSS, welcome to the IBC. If you have business with us, I encourage you to take care of it today, as the bank will be closed tomorrow. Closed? Was there a holiday I forgot about? If I remember correctly, President Rocksmith of Calvert plans on taking a tour of the IBC building tomorrow afternoon. Could that be the reason? Indeed it is, Ms. McDowell. You always did keep up, keep on top of things. Needless to say, the bank couldn't ask for a more distinguished guest than President Rocksmith. Every business in the building is prepared, preparing to meet him as we speak. I'm not surprised. The same must be happening in Michelin, with all the dignitaries that'll be staying there. That's a safe bet. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for letting us know, Lanfei. Ooh. So we can put this in Tio's room. IBC will be closed tomorrow for President Rocksmith's visit. If you have any business with us, I strongly encourage you to take care of it today. I wonder if she liked those expensive cookies I picked up from Times. It should be around here somewhere. 
Mom, you can't seriously be thinking of. Of what? Bringing my youngest daughter her lunch and a well-deserved snack? The police are extremely busy preparing for the conference, no? If I don't do it, who will? Brian's not a little girl anymore, Mom. She can take care of herself, and you, show and you showing up during work would be perfectly fine, Noelle. I'm sure she'll love it, and that's final. Oh, I get it now. You'd like it if I dropped by the SSS to do the same for you, wouldn't you? Very well. My mother does what she must. <laughs> no, that's not what I was... <sighs> Mom! Ha <laughs> ha. Cyrus won't take no for an answer. That must be where Fran gets it from. The police are extremely busy preparing for the conference. That being the case, it's up to me to bring Fran her lunch. No questions asked. At this point, I'll be happy as long as she doesn't do the same for me. Yeah, I can definitely see the connection between her personality and Franz. Bond and his family used to own an estate in the real in the residential district. But one thing led to another, now they live here. Even so, they're a warm and cheery bunch. I should follow their example. The family across the hall moved here from the residential district. They've been through a lot, but still managed to keep up their spirits. I should follow their example. Oh, Bond was out earlier. I love our new home, but you've been acting strange ever since we got here, Mary. Maybe you're in shock because of how suddenly we moved. What has you so frightened, Mary? Maybe you're in shock because of how suddenly we moved. Yeah. Our old residence had a home office, but there's no such luxury here. Instead, I've begun commuting to the IBC, much like our other employees. Now that I've finally settled in from our move, I need to start tackling my work in earnest. Honestly, commuting to my job isn't all that bad. There's something gratifying about announcing that I'm home after a long day of hard work. Our kitchen is a tad on the small size. There are a few flower pots out front that I can use for gardening. I think this will do just fine. I thought Sunita would need more time to adjust her new home than this. <laughs> Seems like I was worrying over nothing. Everything at my store is made by hand. That's what gives them that warm, rustic charm. The kind of a machine, the kind a machine could never manufacture. Making things by hand takes a while. You can end up nicking yourself pretty good, but it's worth it in the end. It gives that warm, rustic charm, the kind a machine could never manufacture. Wait, so... Oh, I thought that was Bond, but no, that's a detective. Right. My mistake. We don't need to go there yet. Nothing to offer. My husband gets rather huffy over politics, but even he holds Mayor Croyce in high demand, uh, regard. It's no surprise how capable he is, considering how many years he's been CEO of the IBC. He may be just the leader we need during the trade conference. Even a political fuddy-duddy like Moores holds Mayor Croyce in high esteem. He may be just the leader we need during the trade conference. Economic arrangements will be the primary point of discussion between the representatives at the trade conference. Naturally, you can expect the Business Owners Association will be paying close attention to every agreement they strike. Yep, same thing. Oh, cut the cup. <laughs> Good one. How much longer are you going to play us for fools before you're satisfied? The hell? Some kind of fight going on? Oh no, not again. 
Hey guys, is something wrong? Oh, look who's here. You arrived at the perfect time. Get a load of this, Lloyd. This long-faced loach and his friends scoped out a bunch of fishing holes across the state. Not only that, but they're holding them hostage so they can hog it all for themselves. Holding them hostage? Yep. He said that the spots they claimed were off-limits to anyone who isn't part of his stupid little club. I ignore them and cast my line anyway, but one of their goons cut it. That sounds horrible. Is there some reason you can't set aside your differences? It's just fishing, right? Just fishing? Oomph. I refuse to so much as toss a line alongside this shoddy group of amateurs. Compared to my elite team of anglers, they are simply an unsightly blemish, one intent lingering at that. What's wrong with being an amateur? You don't have to be a pro to enjoy the sport of it. Listen, you all might have your tournament credentials to your names, but that doesn't give you the right to discredit our members. We've got some ace anglers in our ranks too. Do you now? Yeah, Curtin's right. Sure, I had to hand over my title, but I was still a bona fide master fisher. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha ha. So, you do have some backbone in you after all. How amusing. Then, if you insist, why not face off against us in a series of anglers' jewels? Uh, anglers' jewels? Have you lost your mind? Uh, excuse me, what's an angler jewel? It's exactly what it sounds like. A battle of the baits. Angler's jewels are the be-all and end-all of every fisherman out there. That's right, your pride, your honour, everything you have and everything you are goes on the line for these matches. I can't say I've ever participated in one. I have heard about fishermen who've lost all of their worldly possessions to an angler's jewel. <laughs> Whoa! That's just how intense they are. Defeat isn't an option when the stakes are so high. Seriously? Get a grip, you guys. It's just fishing. So, what are your terms? Let's see. My four elite comrades have already joined me in Crossbell. If a single one of you manages to defeat every one of us, victory is yours. How does that sound? You're welcome to challenge us as many times as you like, but until you win, you will succumb to our every whim. Of course, those whims will be limited to the piscatorial, mind you. And if we win? I do suppose there's an infant... Infinitesimal... Am I pronouncing that right? Infinitesimal... I, don't... I give up. Chance that a miracle beyond your wildest dreams could occur. How about this? Reach victory over one of my members who will return that respective fishing spot. If we do manage to defeat the five of us, we will withdraw from Crossbell and relinquish your office. Furthermore, I will abide by a single request upon your unlikely victory. You will? Uh, are you kidding? Question, why should they believe a word out of your mouth? There's nothing stopping you from going back on your promise if they win. No, it's like Peter said, anglers' jewels are the final word when it comes to a fisherman's dignity. These guys may be a school of pompous bases, <laughs> but I can tell their pride as anglers is unmatched. They'll make good on their promise. We can be confident about that. If you say so. I suppose it's a matter of integrity. You've defied my expectations, Curtin. I'm impressed you can even comprehend. Well, what course of action will you take? Will you rise to the occasion? Or will you swim away like, a, like the little tadpoles you are? Alright, we're in. As you wish. Are you sure about this, Curtin? If we can't beat them, we'll end up having to do whatever they say forever. Huh, but on the flip side, that means we can challenge them as many times as we want, too. Honestly, it sounds like it won't be that hard to pull a win out on this. Doesn't matter how strong they are. Nobody's streak can last forever. Yeah, you might be right. Haha, <laughs> I can see you've yet to fully grasp what it means to be an angler. Not that it's any concern of mine. I should note, however, that you are only eligible to challenge me once you have defeated the other four. Furthermore, you must first earn the right to challenge them by fulfilling certain pre-specified conditions. We're too busy to waste our time on anglers who've yet to prove their skill. 
I hope I made myself clear. Yeah, crystal. Curtain. Very well. Do inquire with our receptionist, Salem, if you need any further explanations regarding our wager. I am admittedly curious to see whether you're worthy of tackling the Imperial Fishing Club's Elite Four. There's a lot at stake with these anglers' jewels. Heh, <laughs> don't worry. This will be a piece of cake. All we need is for one of us to grind that Lake Lord Jerk into ground bait. <laughs> I love all these fishing puns. They're so great. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be that person, to be honest with you. I'm rather concerned about these Elite Four of his as well. True. We can challenge them as often as we want. So with enough elbow grease, we'll surely win eventually. But I get the feeling that it won't be as easy as Copen thinks. Rumor has it that every one of them outstrips even a master fisherman in terms of skill. They're that good? Ah, <sighs> I already knew it'd be hard. Now it sounds downright hopeless. We'll see about that. Personally, I'm happy things are finally heating up. Let's head back to our new branch and hold a strategy meeting. Did you say new branch? Oh, I haven't told you about it yet, have I, Lloyd? Branch manager found us a building along the East Crossbell Highway to use as our new office. Oh, I think I know where that is. It's that place. That little house in Trails of Cold Steel 3 by the um, river. Very clever. Though it's not so much an office as it is an abandoned old boat rental shed. Sure, it's small, worn down and in shambles, but it's near a stream, so fishing will be easier than ever for us. Sounds comfy, yeah? It's just a place for a group of anglers looking to make a fresh start. You'll see a sign for it on the East Crossbell Highway, a fair distance out from Tangram Gate. Just follow the arrow and head south to get to the boathouse. You're welcome to visit us if you ever find the time, Lloyd. Will do. Now then, we're going to do something about these anglers' jewels, one way or another. But since we're short on members, we'd appreciate if you could help pad our numbers a bit, Lloyd. Of course. I don't want to lose all my favourite fishing holes either. I'll support you with everything I've got. Huh. Don't get too ahead of yourself, Lloyd. I'm not about to let you show me up. We'll just be seeing you then. Mate, we all fish our hearts out. Yeah, we'll do this together. It's nice to see Lloyd get so excited about something, isn't it? I never really understood the draw of fishing, but at least there's a large, passionate community to share it with. Well, Lake Lord explained the situation to me. I can clarify the angler's jewels for you if you'd like. Nah, it's clear. I eagerly anticipate finding out what your bait is worth. Though, of course, the outcome of this little rivalry is already as clear as a pristine freshwater river. Ha ha ha. Love how he's observing the fish there. If you're looking for Kia, she's up on the second full time with Shizuku. I'll take good care of them, so don't worry one bit. Hey Shizuku, now that Zin's gone, do you want to go play somewhere else? Sure, I don't mind. Will it be alright for us to go out on our own though? Hmm, good point. Ooh, I've got an idea. Oh, okay, what do you have in mind? Haha, <laughs> it's a secret. Let's go to the SSS building, Shizuku. A secret? You just told us. Hmm. Oh, and there's also this place. That lady at the counter over there says she's a reporter from La Belle. <laughs> Maybe I can get her to take a cute picture of me. 
I think this guy has different dialogue too. I hear a number of reporters will be coming to Crossvale tomorrow for the conference. Hm. They better not try to take unsolicited photos of my shunshun. Anyone who pulls a camera at in my restaurant will be in for a world of pain. I won't make a fuss over the wom over the women, but if some fool of a man so much as pulls out a camera, he'll be in a world of pain. Weapons, let's check. Haha, <laughs> maybe we need to start putting a beware of guard dog sign while you're out here. Grr, woof. Yeah, scared paws in. Oh, chief disappeared. Alright, I want to face... I don't know how to say his name, I think it's Mikkel. Or Mikkel. Home party. Nickel. It is increasing so fast. This is making me a bit nervous. Oh, green. There's no green. Yo. Oh, okay. I didn't even... After. Okay. Hey, wait, so. Oh, I don't get a reward for beating him. Okay. It's almost been two hours. Actually, this is a good spot to um, yeah, I'm gonna purchase some weapons and then I think this is actually a good stop, a good place, sorry, stop, a good place to end the video. I'll just get This right gear looks good.
Not enough Mara? Ah. Probably sell a few things like, ooh, not not that many. Um, two, three, four, five. Oh, that doesn't give a lot of Mara. Um, those are pretty valuable. Uh, sedative. We don't need so many. Okay, that's definitely not enough Mara. Um. Maybe a few of these. Oh! Now we're talking. Uh, so how many of them? Whoops. Where were we? Military boots. Give that to not Randy, Noel. And what is he? While we're at it, we might as well. Uh, upgrade our slots. So we'll open up all of Lloyd's and all of Ellie's. Mind. Hmm, prankster. And mute. Gives that chance to mute the enemy. can get better status infliction things, but I suppose that'll be fine for now. Oh, action two. Hit two, even. That's worth getting. That's also worth getting. Oh, she, oh, she already has that. Huh. Okay, there we go. And... It's better. No, Lloyd can have hit one. It's important that he's able to hit his enemies.
That's fine. Okay, this is a good spot to end the video. Um, by the way, I actually found that quote of Socrates, so I didn't quote it quite right. Um, now there's a few, there's actually a few quotes where Socrates says something similar to the effect of knowing nothing. Uh, but one of them is this. This is from uh, Plato's Apology. And this is what Socrates says. I seem then in just this little thing to be wiser than this man, at any rate. That what I do not know, I do not think I know either. So to be wise is to not suppose that you know what you actually don't know. Um, so there we go. That's that is actually a good starting definition of wisdom, because wisdom is more than just knowledge or intelligence, it's actually discernment. So you're able to self-reflect and you're actually able to know, uh, well, maybe you're able to know the difference between right and wrong and how to decide what to do. Not just in terms of morality, but also practical things. You're able to know when the right time to do something is and when the right time to refrain from it is or to stop doing it. Um, that does take wisdom. So, as I do with all of these playthroughs, I'm going to offer a brief Christian reflection, um, so feel free to stick around if you want. And the passage that I'm going to be quoting from is from Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. It's also related to wisdom, and it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is inside. So wisdom isn't just knowing what to do and when to do it, or when not to do something. Wisdom is also fearing God. What does it actually mean to fear God? Well, it means first of all to trust in Him to trust in his goodness and his love and his power as our creator. It also means to respect him. So when we talk about fear, we're not talking about being terrified of God to the point where we just want nothing to do with him. No, we're talking about the same kind of respect that we would show our boss or our employer or whoever it is who's above us, except not just, not just to someone who's above us in this life, because God is so much higher than a mere employer. So we ought to show God uh, a profound amount of respect because of who he is, our creator. So when we fear God, we seek to actually respect him, which means seeking to know him and his commandments, which please him. When we do what God wants us to do, that's fearing him and honoring him and respecting him. But notice how the passage says it's the beginning of wisdom. So what I take this to mean is that wisdom is a lifelong journey. It's not something that you possess straight away. So fearing God is a good starting point because when we fear God, we do get a better sense of what is right and wrong because we have God as our guiding post. God, or rather not, not a guiding post, but God is our guide and his word is our guiding post. So when we have that as a guide, it helps us to make wise decisions in life it doesn't automatically make us wise. Uh, we will fail from time to time. But the good thing is that through repentance, we can return to God through faith in Jesus Christ as our 
Savior who died for our sins and rose again on the third day and ascended into heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. So wisdom is a lifelong journey and it all begins with fearing God. And knowing God is insight. I think I'll end it there. Thanks for watching this video. I did enjoy this playthrough, um, although I didn't do much. It felt like I didn't do much, but I, I did. That tour of the city with Zin was pretty entertaining, I will admit. It is funny seeing... Uh, I mean, I've seen him in Trials of Cold Steel 3, so I knew what to expect. But still, it's nice seeing him for the first time, so to speak, here, when he's first introduced. And seeing uh, what you wouldn't expect the leader of Hayu to be, the Hayu Crossbell Branch. Namely, a, a little child who's, on the one hand, pretty smart and pretty, you know, pretty kind when he wants to be. He's also a bit of a brat who uh, tries to act more mature when he's not who tries to be a gentleman to Ellie, who tries to uh, pretend that he doesn't like Mishi, when actually he obviously does. Yeah, I think Zin is a well-written character. It's interesting how people observe, huh, I wonder what it'll be like when he gets older, you know? <laughs> He's so uh, smart now. Imagine what he can do with that when he actually matures and becomes a le the leader of the Heyu Crossbell Branch. I would be interested to see if he reappears in Kuro no Kiseki. I've actually heard that you do encounter Heyu over there. Not surprising since they did originate in the East. But yeah, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, those are my thoughts on this playthrough. If you uh, would like to give feedback, feel free to leave a comment. If not, it's totally fine. I hope you got something out of this. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.